I started racing and riding kind of in 1983. I was actually, uh, I was 11, so I wasn't really like a early bloomer, or like someone that, you know, I was kind of a late bloomer to be honest with you. And race began her, my first race, I followed a girl around the whole race and finished dead last, but uh, I was hooked, you know, I was like, dad, this is what I want to do. And But after high school, I went and worked for a motorcycle shop and then that was tough to make in it and I was still trying to race. And then I worked for a freight company. I worked for the freight company for four or five, six years. I can't remember what it was. And I got a CDL and I was driving locally at night and loading up trailers. And then I'd race and riding during the day. And, you know, I was a Mr. Mom and the wife's working at the bank. and. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I think has made me who I am today. It's made me appreciate it. And, you know, I went to school to be, a, I was trying to be a firefighter because I honestly didn't, I'm not one of those kids that was like, I don't know, I, I just didn't think racing. Honestly, I can't say I ever thought I'd be in this point where I'm at. I mean, I'm so fortunate to be where I am and that's why I appreciate it more now than ever, especially. But yeah, I mean, I, when I was racing, I mean, I looked at six days, ISD, Danny Hamill, who was, you know, it was basically the same age as I, me growing up, and I'm like, wow, that guy is awesome. And I was, whenever I was around him, I was in awe, you know, and, and I was that way. I was one of those kids, I, I was so shy to come up to a writer. I was just like, in all of these guys, I've seen them in a magazine. And, you know, that's why I really try to be humble, I guess, or try to like say hi to people. You know, I enjoy being around this sport and being, I don't, I'm the last guy to ever make fun of somebody and see a guy with no visor because I was one of those guys, you know? I was, I was that beginner racer. We all were, no matter what pro. I've been real fortunate to be able to kind of race all aspects. I mean, from enduros to motocross to some marina cross to, you know, every type basically. I did Pikes Peak and the, and the hill climb and won the pro race there. And uh, five AMA National Heron Championships, tying the record with Dan Smith and Danny Hamill, the great Danny Hamill. Um, I've won a national for, and I don't think every one, uh, Enduros, hair scrambles, whatever it is, besides the GNCC, which I've gotten a fourth overall. You know, that was a cool thing, but probably my biggest thing was probably uh, the ISDE, the six days, is being uh, on the trophy team and co-captain with like someone like Kurt Caselli, who, you know, is basically always going to be our captain. You know, um, as far as the ISDEs, um, yeah, I've been around everywhere. My first year was in 97. Um, everybody, most people, I guess, don't realize is that was my uh, last year on KTM. and. I rode KTMs before I went to Kawasaki and I went over there overall to a test and that was in Italy and that was the year that uh, Reed Nordine, the Kawasaki boss, said, hey, we can offer you a ride and I took that and been with Kawasaki for almost 19 years now. So yeah, I mean, I've been to nine different six days, nine different countries and uh, everyone I go to, some of them are mudders, which really aren't my type, but then, uh, you know, I still, I still enjoy it. I love the atmosphere, I love meeting new people, and uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a cool thing to be part of the U.S. team. racing and still training. I actually honestly probably ride more now than I ever did before. And you know, it's now I have the gym, I have online training, I have uh, the riding schools and, and they're all so going so well, which is, you know, it's awesome. I, I have a great people around me and you know, I'm a lot busier now, but I enjoy it. You know, like I was saying, I enjoy kind of giving back and seeing these guys get better. Um, but you know, I, I, I don't know where I'll be in another couple of years, no matter what, it's in the industry. I love uh, being associated with the people in our industry. We have so many good people and, and seeing the sport keep progressing and the riders progressing and the bikes themselves progressing. You know, the bikes nowadays are just incredible. Definitely fortunate to uh, be able to do something I love for so long and be able to make a living at that. I've failed so many times and like Michael Jordan says, you're gonna fail a lot more than you succeed. And it's so true, I mean, when I succeed, that was, awesome but i still failed a lot more after i succeeded you know and it's just one of those things is don't be afraid of failing you know it's try it you know don't have 
don't look back and wish you would have tried that or wish you would have did that. Man, I wasn't afraid to show up to a motocross race and get smoked or not even qualify, but I was out there and it was making me a better rider. And Kurt would say, take a chance. And that's exactly the way I look at it. So it's, it's a great way to live.